still ahead. Is your love tank running on empty? It could be a sign of low testosterone, but uh, you don't need a magic potion to fix it. Coming up, the easy ways you can rev up your libido. If your love tank is running a little dry, because Wednesday is Valentine's Day. Don't forget about that. Uh, instead, there are some easy ways to boost your testosterone levels. There's no magic potion here. Joining us this morning, Dr. Angela DeRosas to tell us all about that. Good morning. Good morning. How's things going? Things are going great, but I have to do a disclaimer here. So when we do this segment, you are my friend. This is for demonstration purposes only, and I'm not remotely attracted to you whatsoever. <laughs> so... <laughs> So when we, when you, when you and I are like on a date, let's say we're pretending, we're going to do a demonstration. Okay, we're pretending. We're pretending okay. we're, we gaze into each other's eyes, okay. and I put my head on your shoulder, okay. and you smell nice, and you, those pheromones start raging. There's this hormone that releases called kisspeptin, and it Kiss floods peptin. my brain with estrogen and testosterone, which okay. fuels my desire even further for you. Okay. So, and if I happen to be <laughs> ovulating at that time, next thing you know, I'm Whoa. pregnant near my baby daddy. What? Oh no! Gosh. <laughs> so in our clinic, we can help you fix your testosterone okay. levels, help fuel that desire. But there's actually really cool research now okay. looking at this kisspeptin, which really can help increase that's not, desire. It, that's not something you just made up. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Kylie's over there laughing. We finally got you back. Uh, okay, so... So now I've got you rattled a little bit. But anyways, uh, no. in our office, we can certainly fix the hormone imbalances of estrogen okay. and testosterone, because testosterone is proven to increase desire. But this whole <laughs> new research on kisspeptin is actually developing to look at a new product for women in particular to help increase their desire. So for men and women, huh? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is it More the so same? they're studying it for women. But for men, they're finding that it actually increases their mood and mm -hmm. helps them calm and be more attracted and kind of comforting with their mate. Where oh, for I women, see. it actually floods that hormone of testosterone oh, in the does. brain, which in men and women boosts desire. Okay. So we want to show you these signs of low testosterone. Yes. So maybe if you're fatigued or you're just kind of tired all the time, right? Yes, so we obviously talk about low libido being a number one symptom, but we get extremely fatigued. We don't recover as well from workouts or we just don't wake up as refreshed. Okay. Testosterone is also a serotonin driver in our brain, so not only increasing that libido, but also our mood. So we either become apathetic or we may have frank panic or anxiety, and then we might have infertility, anemia, in particular in men. We sweat more. What does sweating have to do with it? <laughs> I thought that's what you did when you were in front of your, your sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet Ooh, significant well, other. All things are going right, of uh, course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but certainly, the, but another big thing that testosterone does is also cause midsection weight gain, which decreases our desirability of ourselves and our perception to the world, but also it helps um, drive insulin resistance and prediabetes and cardiovascular risk. So although testosterone's fun in games, it's also very seriously medical. Okay, mm -hmm. and I know you do a good job of making sure all the levels, mm -hmm. uh, all the other levels that are important are, are right on where Absolutely. they should so be. So you want to make sure you're seeing doctors who know what they're yeah. doing and check yeah. your levels and make sure you don't get too high as well because that's just as bad as not enough. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you. I know you're going to have a good one. <laughs> and it's always great having you on the show. Dare I say Dr. DeRosa got, got a bit flustered today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Well, head on the shoulder action. <laughs> it's so red. Thank you.